Right now, because of Jake, my wife and I sleep in separate rooms. OK, well, we don't need you're off the show now, dog. <laughs> It's about my room. This is my room. Michael would try to come to bed like 10, 11 o'clock, and the dog would go to attack him. Good night. Uh, all right, all right. See you tomorrow. Michael's like, forget it. I'm just going to sleep in the other room. It's not worth it. It's embarrassing not to have Michael sleep in my room. You know, we're married 14 years, and where's your husband sleep? Oh, he sleeps in a princess room. I do sleep in a princess room. It's pink. It's got a nice chandelier. I do not want my dad to sleep in my room. I would rather him sleep in my mom so I could sleep in my own room. Oh, I can't believe this. Victoria has to fix him. Michael has to sleep in my room again or we're gonna wind up getting divorced because it's ridiculous. We don't know what, what else to do with this dog. I mean, if you'd like to see, they can go in the bedroom to come charging off that bed when you and I walk in. So if you could take him. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Cheeky. Up, 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 up. When it's bedtime and I come into the room, his eyes go back, his ears go back, I will get bit. But Tell him to be quiet. Shh, shh, shh. I would not dare to touch him right now. Shh. I believe that this poor dog has been shouted at, has been shocked. It's OK. You just have to look at the way Jake responds to him to know that there is a history there, and it is not a good one. How long have you guys slept in here, and you slept in the other room? Oh, wow. um, Two years. It just got easier. Oh, Jessica hasn't slept in her own room for two years. She has to sleep with her mother because of the dog. That is absolutely ridiculous. Would you like to have your room back? Would you like to be able to sleep in your room? Mm-hmm. Have you told your parents, I'd like to sleep in my room? Yep. And what, what have they said? Back to you. It's because of the dog. I can't have the dog sleep in there with her. No. And he can't stay in here with us. And if we put him to else, he's just going to bark and bark and bark. You're out of options. Yes. I'm disgusted that Jessica seems to have been put aside of what she needs in her life because of Jake. Don't you think it's a little strange that your daughter, for the last two years, has had to sleep with your wife? Absolutely. She's no going doubt. to be 13 yeah. soon. It's all about having, you know, getting a good night's sleep. Nobody gets bit and nobody really gets disturbed. Do you see anything in your behavior that might be able to change the whole situation? He carries on like a raving lunatic and he wakes everybody up in the house. I don't get any sleep. Well, there have to be other options. Mm -hmm. How long is this going to carry on? Is your daughter going to be 18 and still sleep with her mother? So she better have a job by then. Well, no. Something no. has got to change. Now, you know what? You laugh a lot about stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is not cool. You're very controlling. You're very controlling over your wife. You're very controlling over your child. You like to control what they say, how they act. You are. When Victoria had made that comment, it made me feel both upset and a little surprised. I'm not typically a controlling person. I just need to know what's going on. I guess I never saw it that way. Something's got to change with this. Mm -hmm. One of my missions is to get Jessica back in her bed, where she belongs. I agree with that 100%. Okay. Good. OK, take a seat. You could talk to me very plainly. You don't have your parents here talking for you. Tell me how you feel about this whole situation. Um, bad because I can't sleep in my room. I have to sleep with my mom. I can't talk to my friends at night on my computer because she says the light shines in her eyes and it's embarrassing for me. I've told my mom that I want to go back into my room and she's like, you can't because of Jake. How would you feel if I said, I'm going to work very hard to make sure you get your room back? I would be so happy. Yeah, well, I have your back now. When Victoria told me she's on my side, I was like, yes! Someone's on my side, finally! Sometimes I feel like your wants and your desires get lost in the mix, and you have been bitten a lot by this dog, but your voice hasn't been heard. Now I want them to hear your voice. And I always find it better if I write down what I want from parents, what you need from your parents. So. Um, 
write whatever you kind of feel, okay? And then we'll read it in front of your parents, all right? Okay, good luck. The best part about the letter to my parents was that I get to have a say in it, telling them how, I'm, how I felt. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, take a seat, Jessica. You know, when I first came here, it seemed like everyone was talking over each other, and I did feel that Jessica didn't really have too much of a say in everything. So Jessica's written you a letter, and I wanted her to read it out so that you can sort of see from really from her heart what she desires for the future. Dear Mom and Dad, I have slept in your room for over two years, and I do not want to go back. I think for the future, Mom, you should listen more onto what people say to not just stare at them. And Dad, you need to be less controlling over the situation with Jake. But I think you are really trying. When Jake bites me, I run down to Dad because he doesn't laugh and smile like you do, Mom. Just because Victoria is here now doesn't mean Jake is always going to be good. We all have to take charge, and in the future, I would like to have more say. Please. Absolutely. <laughs> Very well said, Jess. I didn't know that she didn't think that we listened to her. And I also didn't know that she thought that I laughed at her if she got bit. And I didn't know she felt so bad. So it was good that Victoria came this way, get the true feelings out from Jessica. And she'll be a happy kid, have a happy dog. Everything will be happy. <laughs> Right, it's all come to this. This has been the bone of contention. It's gonna change. I want Jessica to get back in her own bed. It's ridiculous that she's been sleeping with her mother for two years. And there's very, very simple training in order to help her do that. Dogs respond to vocal cues, visual cues, and auditory cues like this. Which he hears when I'm in the cabin. Well, he's now gonna hear it when you come into the room. I want you to practice this. Rattle, throw. I wanted to teach Jake that if he was quiet when Michael approached him, he got good things. And the crinkling of the bag will be associated with food, with good things in Jake's mind. Rattle, good. Take a step forward and throw. Throw, good. Now sit on the bed. Good, as you're sitting on the bed, good. Oh, great. I was pretty impressed to see that Jake did not really show any hostility or any aggression. That's how you get in and out of bed every night. What do I do when Lisa starts wanting some of that? Do I gotta throw it to her too? Do what you like. <laughs> yeah. Before he tried the food technique, he couldn't even get in the room. And now when Michael came in with the crinkling, the minute the dog heard that, I'm like, oh, he's not getting crazy. Now, here's the deal. Jessica, from now on, mm -hmm. you're not going to be sleeping in this bed anymore, OK? Yes! <laughs> from now on, you're sleeping back in your bedroom. I wanted to jump up and down so badly when Victoria told me I get my own room back. I'm like, yes! If I hear, and believe you me, I am going to be keeping an eye on you, if I hear that Jessica is back here sleeping oh, no. with her no, mother. No, no, sure. I swear, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to remove you forcibly from her bed, put you in here, and put Jessica back. You know, she wants to sleep in her room, and I can't blame her. Thank God Victoria came, because I think this is going to work. That's what you're going to be doing. Make sure you do it every time. If you're flaky with it, it's not going to work. I want this dog to see every approach as a good one. And you're leaving so that he doesn't ever, ever rehearse negative behavior again. I'm gonna go to bed. All right. Okay. No more princess room for me. The treats, I don't have to do as much anymore when I enter or exit the bedroom. He's actually a good boy. He's not, not aggressive anymore. Uh, if I do have to get up in the middle of the night, he's all right with it. I'm pleasantly surprised at how much success the family's having with the training, and I think a lot of that has to do with Michael. He's been working really hard. 